Hi, my name is Serge Schwaber and I'm happy to be a presenter again this year. I work as a lead developer at Audum in Nuremberg, Germany. I have more than 14 years of experience in SharePoint development and also have a blog where I regularly write and publish my solutions or share my ex uh, experience. I have also provided some samples in the PNP community or at NPM. Today I present one of uh, these solutions, my React components based on Fluent UI. Um, today I will tell you something about the idea of the package, how to install it and what uh, it contains. Afterwards I will show you a demo. Um, let's start with the idea. I have already created a lot of SPFX projects for our customers and uh, there are always components that are needed more often, such as an icon picker or color picker. But often you also need to display a confirm dialog. These are all components that are not customer specific and can be provided very easily with an NPM package. I also use various um, CSS classes in many projects to create the UI more quickly, such as the flex row or text center classes. Um, that's my own classes or class names. Um, this is how the ID for the components came about. And finally, also the implementation. It is similar to the PNP rec controls. Expect that it can also be used without SPFX. Um, I, I would uh, also like to mention that one or two components are included in PNP controls, such as the icon picker, but I de developed mine, um, mine because I wanted it to be different from the standard. In the end, of course, it's up to you which controls um, you use. Now let's move to <coughs> on to the installation part. This is very simple. Just npm install. Um, Fluent UI rec controls from at SPFX at dev. So, if you use um, a different package manager, you must of course replace npm with, for example, pnpm. And then you can uh, use the following components um, autocomplete, the previously mentioned icon picker or color picker, a tree view, which, unlike pnp tree view, can be accessed using the keyboard or a searchable drop-down. There are also plugins, at least that's how I call them. This can be used to open an alert dialog with a single line of code, for example. And of course, there are even more components than, um, than those mentioned here and at, mentioned here. So um, at, at this point, it should also be mentioned that I have tested the controls, but it's still in the beginning and errors may occur. I have also planned to add more components. So, um, I want to show you now my components. <clears throat> this is the documentation of the uh, components. It is based on Storybook and has uh, the benefit that there can be a preview of the components. Um, that is why. Um, that is why I will not leave this website, as the examples are enough. As already mentioned, the package has only recently been created. I have tried to write this documentation as much and as quickly as possible. Many things may not be described completely or incorrectly. Um, please forgive me, I didn't have much time for it. Okay, let's start with the first component. I have called it Add New Toolbox. Um, this toolbox is a replica of the SharePoint at the new web part component. I think you can imagine what it can be used uh, for, um, but this is what it looks like. Just align with an uh, add icon, click it, and then a callout will be appears. By default, it's only visible when hovering like this. But um, you can also always, uh, or the, the control can be always uh, visible, like this one. Or a custom rendering can also be defined like that. Now to the next control, autocomplete. Um, you can use this component, for example, if you want to give the user suggestions. It is um, best to use this component in combination uh, with, um, for example, an API call. 
in the SharePoint universe, for example, uh, for the search API. Of course, static values are also possible. My icon picker, uh, uh, for example, uses um, this control as well. There are some setting options, such as the minimum length um, a text must be before the onload suggestion event is triggered. I will demonstrate it with the uh, dummy JSON API here. Let's um, enter, I don't know, laptop. And this is the, um, yeah, the result and uh, the suggestion for the autocomplete. <clears throat> Sorry. Now to the next uh, component, uh, the badge. I, I think badge, uh, we can skip uh, the badge because it's just an UI element. Um, but let's uh, continue with the card. Um, it's not really built on Fluent UI, but you can combine it with it. Um, I don't think I need to explain what cards are, but basically you can map different UI elements with it. For, for example, um, um, simple card with title, subtitle, content, or description, um, or a card with uh, actions like this one. Um, you can also handle the uh, display type of if the, uh, the buttons um, should be vertical or uh, horizontal, like that. Um, or you can combine it with images, like this one. I think it's very nice and useful controls. <clears throat> The next component is about dialogues. Um, of course, Fluent UI has dialogues, but here are three special dialogues that JavaScript also has out of the box. These are an alert, a, a confirm, and a prompt dialogue. The dialogues are just pre-designed dialogues with some configuration options. The dialogues look like this. Alert. Um, confirm and a prompt. Um, <clears throat> the content of this dialogue is configurable and in the prompt dialogue, um, also whether the cancel button should be displayed or not, as in this prompt with validation. Here is the cancel button not visible and my validation uh, needs a minimum of three characters. I will uh, show you the plugins later because they make um, using these three dialogues even easier and faster. Those were the dialogues. Let's move um, on the next control, the icon picker. So, um, as I already mentioned, my control differs from PNP because here we have the possibility to get suggestions with the autocomplete uh, control. And if, we, uh, if you have selected an icon, um, it's also displayed directly in the right-hand area. Let's demonstrate this. Test bigger, and here is the preview. <clears throat> it is also planned to display a panel or dialog with all icons similar to PNP. The next component isn't really anything new, but it has uh, a big advantage because my color picker is very small. Um, as you can see here. Um, but <clears throat> when clicked on this, um, it opens the Fluent UI color picker in the callout. You can also uh, specify a label if you want, like here. Or remove the label, and it looks like that. So, similar to the card component, the next component is also just a design element, list and list items. This allows you to create lists uh, quickly and easily. Uh, list items. <clears throat> um, and you can decide, for example, whether a border should be displayed or a separator, like this one or that one. It um, comes with a few design elements as standard, such as the hover or the spacing, uh, like this one. Um, and of course, you can override them with your own uh, CSS classes and so on. Now the last three components, the loading component. The loading component um, is a Fluent UI spinner 
uh, but in modal state uh, on the entire page. This allows you to symbolize to the user that something is currently happening. And at the same time, the user has no possibility to use uh, the other functions of this page. Um, for example, this one, I cannot um, click something else on the page. Um, now the, uh, to the searchable drop down. This, this makes it easier to find the Fluent UI drop down element. You can see um, it here. Um, one moment, here. Let's enter, for example, app, and then you can select Apple. Um, with such a small number of entries, you will probably need it uh, less often. But here is an example uh, with a little bit more items, um, with 5,000 items. Um, now let's look for op. Five euro, and here is the um, yeah filtered list. It is important that the search or the filtering, and then also the items that are displayed are always managed by the developer. The control does not do it automatically for you. Okay, now to the last component, my three view. Uh, three view. I have to say that it doesn't currently work like PNP, and that you have checkboxes or something similar, but you can um, react to the selected event. Uh, multiple select is also doesn't work at the moment. I will add it soon. Uh, the much uh, more important part is that you can control it completely with the key, uh, keyboard. For example, um, with the arrow keys, right, right, selecting is uh, the space and um, or up and down. If you use the right key uh, with children, then it will be open or uh, close with the left key and so on. Okay, um, that's it for the components. Uh, now to the last part, this should be quick, um, but it could be helpful. Open dialogues with one line of code. Here again, um, there are the three previously mentioned types, alert, confirm, and prompt. As you can see here in the code, um, the, I open the alert dialog with one um, line of code when the button is clicked. The, the open method returns a promise, so you can wait for the uh, user to confirm it and only then execute the next code. And this is what it looks like. Same as before, but with one line of code. Um, it, as, it also works the same way with the confirm dialog, like this one, um, only that the method returns a true or a false at the uh, promise resolve, depending on what the user clicked. Yes, um, true, no, false. And the same happens with the prompt, only here the enter text is returned or an empty string if it is canceled. So you can also perform a validation here, for example, like here. And this is um, the code. So, um, and the last part, the loading here is the same, um, one line of code, but, um, only here you have to control yourself and um, it is closed because, of course, I don't know how long it should be displayed. Um, yeah, for example, here, plugins, loading, show, and then after uh, three seconds, it will be um, hard, like this one, and this with one line of code. Yeah, that was all about my package. I will sp switch back to my slides. Um, and show more links to this package. I'm sure David will share the links with you, or has already has. <laughs> and yeah, finally, um, thank you. Mm -hmm.